Hi everyone, this is JP LaForce from Studio JPEG and in this video I will be showing how to synchronize audio and video together and you'll see it's very simple so if you have an external recorder like the Zoom H4n it's only going to take you maybe 5 or 10 seconds once you're used to it so the first thing I do is I drag my video file in and then I drag my audio file. You're gonna see here there's a collapse expand track button. You're gonna want to expand both of the audio files and in order to work in this I find that expanding this works very nicely. You can use the tilde key to do so or if you're using a French keyboard, the accent grave. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit using the Alt key and the scroll wheel. And not so much, okay. What I want to find here is I was using a clap sound, which you can see here and you can see on the second audio file here. So I'm going to drag this just at first approximately where it should be going and then I'm going to zoom in to the maximum and get it as close as possible. So sometimes you cannot get it exactly precisely but there is so very little difference that your ears are not going to notice anything. So the next step I do is I choose a random spot in the video and I click the play button or the spacebar. The next category is the EF and EFS cameras. And as you can see both files are synchronized perfectly. So that's it and then all you need to do afterwards is to clip the files which you can do like this use the shift key to make it lock there use the shift key again to make it snap there and everything is perfect select both of them put them in the beginning and there you have it you have synchronized audio and video files Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it will help you synchronize files in the future. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. I will be doing more of these tutorials or leave a comment below. Have a great day.